Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you have been following me for a while, you already know about my journey with Duke Audio. They were the first brand to send me a review unit after I moved to Canada. Since then, I have reviewed several of their products and today we are taking a look at something new from their premium sub brand Ambappa. The Ambappa D1 hi fi Bluetooth amplifier with digital VU meters. This one was sent to me by Duke Audio for review and it's my 16th review unit since I arrived in Canada. As always, this video includes a complete unboxing, physical overview, detailed feature explanation, specs and a live audio test. If you like to see more testing clips, follow me on Instagram and Facebook page. I'll be posting extended sound demos there. The box itself looks surprisingly premium. Definitely not what you would expect for a $169 amplifier. Inside, everything is neatly packed in separate compartments. One for the amplifier, one for the power adapter, and one for the remote. The presentation immediately gives a high-end feel. Inside, we get the amplifier itself. User manual, warranty card, and even a cleaning cloth. Mm, nice little touch. On the back of the box, Ampapa lists all their contact details and additional information. Very professional packaging overall. The entire chasis is made of metal, most likely aluminium, with a smooth matte black finish, um, a typical well-built Class D amplifier. It measures 155mm wide, 124mm deep and 42mm tall. It's a perfect size for bookshelf or desktop setup and the look and feel are honestly premium for the price. At the front, we get a 2.75 inch color LCD display which shows 8 different VU meter styles and other operational data. The screen is bright, crisp and very responsive. The retro style meters gives that sweet vintage vibe we all love. To power the amplifier on or off, you can long press the volume knob or use the remote. When turned on, the screen displays the Ambappa logo and here is something I really like. It has a memory function. That means, when you power it back on, it remembers the previous volume level, the mode and the tone settings. Super convenient. The volume control knob isn't just a simple potentiometer. It's a digital encoder with a 1 inch metallic knob, which lets you navigate menus and switch VU meter styles. The remote control is a simple IR remote with all essential functions. M button for input modes, that's a Bluetooth, RCA or balanced input. The bass and treble adjustment and a menu button at the bottom for quick access. Single pressing on the encoder opens the menu and double pressing it mutes the audio. Inside the menu, you will find two sections, input and the settings. The input includes Bluetooth, RCA and the TRs or the balanced input. Going to the settings, we can see the tone control, that is the bass and treble adjustment of plus or minus 10 dB. Personally, I always set both to maximum. Class D amplifier usually sound a bit lean to my taste. Second one is the light, that's a screen brightness adjustment. And finally, the style option, that is the eight display modes. Technically, we can say it's only seven because the last one shows the status info only. The customization options are excellent. I really appreciate brands that let us personalize their setup. The combination of matte black finish, digital display and colorful view meters gives the amplifier a truly minimalistic and premium appearance. Up top, there is a glass window that reveals the internals of the Ambap had even. And yes, it's illuminated by RGB LEDs inside. Be careful not to scratch or crack the glass. What's really interesting is that you can individually toggle each LED color using the tiny onboard switches, allowing seven different lighting combinations. Seriously, have you ever seen that in an amplifier at this price? Even the side ventilation design is unique. Instead of basic cutouts, Ambappa engraved their brand name as the vent pattern. Smart aesthetic choice that also improves airflow. Around the back, we have the DC power input that supports 24 to 48 volt range. The included Ambappa branded GAN adapter outputs around 48 volt 5 ampere, giving the amplifier full power potential. The speaker terminals, gold-plated, solid and compatible with banana plugs. A 3.5mm pre-output jack that lets you connect your external powered subwoofer or speaker. 
A 12 volt trigger input allows the amplifier to power on or off automatically when connected to another device like a DAC or preamp with a trigger output. The RC inputs with protective covers which is rare in this price range. A 6.35 mm TRS balanced input which is a professional grade balanced connection for noise free audio. Next is the HPF or the high pass filter knob adjustable from 30Hz to 200Hz. This allows you to tailor your setup depending on the speaker or subwoofer. So how it works? You can set it uh, to 30 Hz for full range playback or set it to 80 to 120 Hz when using a subwoofer. Set it higher like 100 to 150 Hz to protect small bookshelf speakers or you can use it around 50 to 80 Hz to tame the excessive bass in small roofs. A very practical feature especially for flexible setup. Powering the amplifier is a Texas Instrument TPA3255 chip. Yes, it's not a brand new, but it's still one of the best Class D chipset in its range. When implemented correctly, as it is here, it delivers noise-free, strong dynamic and a wide range of sound stage. The output power is like 120 watts per channel for 4 ohms load, 110 watts per channel for 6 ohms load and 102 watts per 8 ohms load. The frequency response is 20 Hz to 20 kHz plus or minus 0.4 dB and the speaker impedance recommended is 4 to 8 ohms. Coming to the other technical highlights, it has the Bluetooth version 5.2 with Qualcomm QCC 304X chipset that supports various codecs like SBC, AAC, APTX and even APTX HD. It also has the P FFB that is a post filter feedback technology that enhances the clarity, low distortion and stabilizes response according to different speakers. It also has the NE5532 op amps which is easily replaceable via the top window that can be upgraded to OPA2604, OPA2134 or even MUSC S02. The NJW1194 chipset with the, that acts as a pre-amplifier controller that managing the volume, tone and input switching with precision and low noise. It also has the 2 ounce copper ending PCB that means uh, thicker copper for better current handling and lower resistance. And also it uses the premium components like gold plated speaker terminals, the WIMA capacitors, Japanese Sag Sagami inductors and Rubicon capacitors. As I already mentioned the included 48 volt GAN or the gallium nitrate adapter is another highlight. The gallium nitrate technology offers high efficiency that is up to 97 percentage, low heat output, smaller lighter size and a cleaner DC power with minimal ripple. All of this means better clarity, tighter bass and more dynamic headroom that is the foundation of a great sound. Now let's hear how the Ampapad even performs. Please use headphones for this segment to really appreciate the quality. And the people bowed and
The sound is clear, powerful and surprisingly musical for such a compact amplifier. Bassy's tight vocals are clean and the treble has sparkle without harshness. So what's the catch? Honestly, none. If you are looking for a compact, powerful, stylish and affordable class D amplifier for your desktop or gaming setup or even living room, the Ambapa D1 is absolutely uh, worth considering. So what do you think about this amplifier? Drop your thoughts in the comment below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more in-depth reviews like this.